Today we're talking about marriage. Every part of every Chinese character is derived from a pictograph. Marriage, jie huan, consists of two characters. The first character on the left-hand side consists of a rope, which indicates that two people are being tied together. Right-hand side of the first character is a ji, which indicates prosperity. It comes from a pictograph of a grain storage unit. The second character, huan, on the left-hand side has a woman, which is part of getting married, and on the right-hand side is the phonetic huan. Huan also means the setting sun, and it's a time when you can't see clearly. I'm Uncle Hans, and I've been in China for several decades. Uh, most of you know about the Western concept of marriage. I'd like to show you a few things about the Chinese concept of marriage. So let's go see some things. In every major city in China, we have a place called Xiangqinjiao, which is basically a corner where parents come to try to find mates for their children. They display information on their children. They put it on, uh, on umbrellas, uh, and you can walk through and you can look and see, oh, this girl's that tall and that guy is so old and uh, has so much money, and uh, maybe you'll find a mate or maybe you'll find a mate for your children. Look 你既然要要这个条件那个条件，你你你这个卖女啊，或者是卖孩子了。这里小孩过得幸福，那些我感觉都是自由。So this is kind of the situation today. You might ask about or not too long ago, and how much money and wealth did you have to have in order if you're if you're going to get married properly? They have a museum about the history of marriage in China. So let's go see the museum. Well, if you were going to get married in the 70s, you would have to prepare certain gifts for the uh, family, to start the family. And among these gifts would be a sewing machine, and a bicycle, and of course a watch, and maybe a radio. If you were going to get married in the 80s, you would have to prepare uh, a TV. And of course, don't forget the rings. This museum is, uh, shows a little bit about the history of marriage. We start out here in the 50s. These are the complicated characters, the traditional characters. The people to get married, it was arranged by a matchmaker. They had probably never seen each other by the time they got married. But you'll notice that in the 60s, you will see here the Ziyuan. That means that it was a consensual marriage as opposed to a totally arranged marriage. And then uh, in the 70s, we see marriage certificates like this. We will often have a quotation from Chairman Mao. And a little bit uh, later after that, they evolved. China got more and more free. China is moving very rapidly into the future. Uh, more and more freedom, people are free to uh, decide who they're going to be with, and uh, things have changed quite a bit in the past few decades. But back to the characters for marriage, Jie and Hun. Yeah, basically, it just means it's very simple, tying a knot between two lovers, and hopefully everything will go well. <laughs> 